port of Spain, Trinidad Island. Uh, we just, uh, not just, but two hours ago, our ship uh, docked at the terminal and uh, we are in the city center. Uh, now we will explore port of Spain today uh, and we found a Wi-Fi as soon as we got out of the ship and we, uh, we know where we are going. We will now first head to the Independence Square and uh, sit by the parks there, have a coffee, enjoy the city. And from there we'll make our way to the historical square and the botanical gardens and Queen Savannah's park and these interesting uh, mansions uh, in the island. So I think now it's too sunny, we are heading to the park. It took us like five minutes walking uh, from the terminal to Independence Square uh, and this is like a very long La Rambla in Barcelona covered with the gardens uh, between two roads. Uh, it's a comfortable walking place under the shade of the trees because it's around 26 degrees. Uh, somewhere I read that uh, Trinidad does not have uh, a rainy season but it has a dry and cloudy season and there is a windy season. Maybe sometimes it rains I think. Um, so this is a cloudy day, I, a little bit partly cloudy, although I see bright blue skies. Uh, this Independence Square is the main heart of the city and they say that people come here after work for gathering with friends and uh, you know, sitting at the restaurants and they say liming instead of socializing like uh, I think lemon, the lime, you know, liming. Uh, in these parts of the Caribbean islands it means socializing, getting together with friends and mingling, uh, mingling yeah mingling. And then uh, in the more central parts of the Independence Square, we, there is a promenade called Brian Lara and we will walk over there and there's a KFC, I think, and we will uh, stop by all of them. Uh, and then uh, after you know, walking around here, we will make our way to Queen Savannah Park. Uh, I think it's a beautiful place when you make a walking park like this in the city. Uh, it's very enjoyable to you know, walk, doing uh, people watching and time passing. Uh, watching all the city goes by you. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here and do some people watching. which is called the Brian Lara Promenade. Uh, there are some homeless people, but it's a, a nice atmosphere here. It's colorful, it's so lively. And this KFC is the most profitable KFC in the world, as we have heard. There are banks, and here is Gilkai. Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. We're gonna go visit, but it looks like a British Anglican church, and I think it is. Uh, it's one of the important churches here in Trinidad, in part of Spain, and there are many street vendors selling all kinds of things like food, detergents, singing, and gokai. And uh, this is the promenade that we have been walking, and we saw the Chinatown 
now we will stop by it and the, you know the supermarkets are pretty lively okay so let's go inside the church okay now we're gonna go inside the church the cathedral of the immaculate conception It's bright and nice. God! Why? Because God is so not in repentance unto salvation that the sorrows of this world will get unto death. In all that David was going through, the Bible says David encouraged himself. Chinatown, which is a big bazaar actually. So we just turned left from the Independence Square and now we are seeing all kinds of fresh produce. The streets of uh, Port of Spain looks uh, way more familiar than the other Caribbean islands because they look so uh, much used like as by locals. We came to Woodford Square and uh, this is the Holy Trinity Church of Fort of Spain and the park, the square is like a park and it's green and tranquil even though there are some uh, people that ask for money but uh, still it's a beautiful place away from the hustle and bustle and this is the red house there uh, facing the square so let's go walk a little bit inside the park and see the Red House Square. I think somewhere here is the Parliament building, but is it the City Hall? Yes. Yes. That is the City Hall, right across there. And the Red House. So overlooking the Woodford Square, just uh, across uh, Trinity Church, here is the Trinity Church Cathedral, or, and this is the Red House, which is the Parliament of Trinidad and Tobago. So this is the Port of Spain's Parliament building, it's red, so it's called Red House. Now we will make our way to the Queen Savannah and Botanical Gardens from that corner. Um, I think once you get out of the city center's uh, noise, and hustling is a little bit peaceful here. After Woodford Square, we started walking towards Queen Savannah Park, and the botanic gardens are uh, right behind it. Uh, the streets are pretty empty, although I think uh, today is a Saturday, but still the shops are empty. You know, like they're not closed, they're empty. Uh, but it's uh, quiet, and uh, I think Queen Savannah Park is around one kilometer from the port or one and a half maybe um, and we are walking there 
but I'm not sure if there's a transport. Maybe there's a transport and we don't know about it. But we like walking in the cities, so it's way better to discover a city than just uh, going to the points. You know, if you walk in between them, you get the essence of a city, which is enjoyable, I think. We arrived to Queen Savannah's Park by walking, but right before we arrived here, uh, we accidentally took part in a ritual of the Adventist Church. We were invited inside after I looked inside from the window. They invited us in and they uh, gave us some bread and wine and we took part in their ritual. I don't know, I think it's some kind of rebirth. And now we will continue our trip. There is a building at the corner of Queen Savannah's Park. It says Heritage Petroleum Company. I'm not sure if the building is really heritage, but uh, I know that there is an oil industry here. Uh, so Port of Spain was once the, the richest uh, island of the Caribbean and the biggest one of them all. Uh, but today it's uh, just trying to improve its economy after the crisis in the 80s. Um, and now we will see the magnificent seven houses uh, by the corner of the park. Uh, we found a bench on the side of the Queen Savannah Park and we are resting a little bit after the uh, church mass that we have attended. Now, <laughs> uh, it's, we need to find the magnificent seven houses uh, on the side of Queen Savannah Park and so we will need to walk a little bit further and from there I think I'm going to call the day because it's so hot and there is not much to do here apart from shopping, so I think that's it. After walking like crazy, we have arrived to the famous Magnificent Seven of Port of Spain. So these were um, the houses, these seven houses, the first one is this one, are the houses of uh, former plantation owners. And uh, they are side by side, so they needed to, you know, uh, outrage each other and uh, they just had to uh, make fancy houses here. One of them, I think this one, uh, became a college, uh, Royal College of Victoria today. And uh, there is one that's looking like a Scotland castle, uh, but we will see that one. We found coconuts. Mm -hmm. We love coconuts. So we took a break here. It's uh, 10 Trinidadian dollars, I think around 1.7. Yeah, no, but it's exactly one and a half dollars. Yeah? Okay, so we gave one and a half dollars and now we are enjoying our coconut before we go back to the center. Uh, there are many coconut stalls and I think street vendors where you can get street food. And uh, we got this from this next stall. Uh, and now we are sitting under a shade. Do you know? Enjoy the coconuts. This is the uh, other one, one of the other ones of the Magnificent Seven. It's called the Hayes Court. I think it's still being uh, restored because of construction in progress and another coconut seller. We are continuing to walk until we see the Scottish Castle. I think these are the last three of the Magnificent Seven. This is the Archbishop House. I don't know the name of this one, but the next one is the Killerney, which is the which looks like a Scottish castle, but has an Irish name. This one is the White Hall and the Killerney building is there. This building is also known as the Stone Myers Castle. But uh, none of these houses are open to public today. They are known as the Magnificent Seven, overlooking the Queen Seven. So we are back at the ship already. Uh, so we couldn't uh, find anything else to do. And we walked all the way from Magnificent Seven to the port. So we are really, really tired. So it's time for some Wi-Fi and then, I think, resting in the ship and having coffee and things like that. And sadly, this is the last day of our 
workers. Yes, unfortunately we are being abandoned in Barbados tomorrow. But tomorrow we'll have a beautiful day in Barbados. We will go snorkeling and kayaking in a shipwreck. And then it's hard to believe but we will fly to Amsterdam tomorrow night. So after coming back to the ship we realized that we have missed the Napa building. Um, so this is this uh, modern building here is the Napa building. Uh, which was the Faculty of Arts, Performing Arts, uh, back in 2009 and it, it cost 73 million dollars uh, to build. But then uh, there were no maintenance program and there were so many design flaws with the building. Uh, the building had to be closed a few years later in 2014 and uh, it's a bit controversial. So it only remains a modern building in a silhouette of part of Spain so you can only look at it from afar so we're saying goodbye to part of Spain today actually finishing our cruise in Barbados tomorrow <laughs>